In today's Our Region's Business Online Extra, a call to action to employers across our region to get serious about inclusion and diversity, especially in light of the waves of protest across the country and our region in search of social justice. Sabrina Saunders is president and CEO of Vibrant Pittsburgh, which has just released a brand new index tracking uh, diversity in our region and inclusion. And Sabrina, great to see you again. Welcome. Thank you, Bill. It's great to, to see you as well. You've been reaching out to companies across our region, to employers, to try to understand where we stand when it comes to inclusion, inclusion and diversity. What, what have you found? So, yeah, so we developed the Vibrant Index uh, diagnostic that evaluated companies in, in nine impact areas. Uh, and so essentially identifying areas of responsibility, diversity and, and equity and inclusion strengths, and then opportunities to make change uh, within each organization. Uh, we also provided a number of recommendations to uh, those companies directly. Participation was a confidential. Uh, however, I can tell you that we did have 50 of our employers uh, ranging in, in size, industry, and sector participate. Um, what we found is that uh, there uh, is, is currently work that's being done um, that is advancing uh, an inclusive workforce and uh, the ideals of an inclusive region, but there is, is certainly more work uh, to be done. I can tell you that today I spent time working to engage uh, our, our CEOs. Uh, we have a number of, of CEOs in the region that, are, that have been taking the lead. I'm asking them uh, to, take it, to, up, to take it up another notch because leadership from the top is imperative as it relates to diversity and inclusion strategies. Yeah, I was struck by the index that uh, although many CEOs are engaged, many are not. They, they seem to delegate it farther down inside their organization. Is that a, is that a problem? It is a problem. Uh, if, if CEOs can, now is certainly a, a time to invest uh, and create uh, a commitment to this, this work, to deepen their commitment in this work, and to lead the charge. And not just within their companies, but I'm asking them to lead their peers. Uh, I specifically uh, mentioned that our C-suites and our boardrooms continue to be uh, overwhelmingly white and male. That's not a surprise to many of our leaders and, and won't be a surprise to the, the, the community. What we are asking for and what's necessary is uh, an increased level of accountability in, in this area. And so share the information and, and partner with us and with others uh, to, to make a change so that we can truly see uh, the commitment uh, in, in more ways than one. Yeah, you know, the other thing that really struck me about it, because there has been so much attention paid to the issue of supplier diversity, uh, supplier diversity, especially over the past decade, that, you know, not every company, and these are companies that were motivated enough to respond to this survey and to participate, and not all of them are really on the same page when it comes to understanding what their spend is and, and really working to, to improve it. Bill, I, I, this was one that we were actually um, not completely surprised by um, as uh, we think about what the, the overall investment, but um, we were struck by it because at this point in time, it is imperative from a, a diversity, equity, and inclusion perspective uh, from an economic perspective in our region uh, to invest in our minority and women-owned businesses. And so I believe that at this point in time, we, we certainly can make an immediate change by uh, proactively and intentionally tracking, uh, right, as, as, a, as a first step, tracking how you're spending um, in uh, su supplier diversity and creating goals and metrics uh, to uh, and improve in that particular area. That's one way that all companies uh, can make a difference in this, in this, in this area. Yeah. H how do you hope uh, this report will be used? Do you hope it will serve as an example to other employers in the region who aren't quite on the case? I, I, I hope it serves as an invitation, uh, one, to participate as we move forward. Uh, I'd love to see uh, increased participation so that we can shed light on uh, areas of, of strength and opportunity and uh, work with companies to build a plan uh, for uh, an inclusive workforce. It will require all of us uh, to work together uh, to put uh, this region 
uh, in our, its rightful place, I, I believe, um, as a leader in this work. This is a moment to be intentional about diversifying the workforce. And th if, if, if not now, uh, then, then when? Sabrina Saunders from Vibrant Pittsburgh. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Bill. And I'm Bill Flanagan, and that's today's Online Extra.